The Book of Kells, c. 8800, is lettered in a script known as Insular Majuscule, a variety of Unseal script that originated in Ireland. Unseal is a majuscule script commonly used from the 4th to 8th centuries AD by Latin and Greek scribes. Unseal letters were used to write Greek and Latin, as well as vernacular languages such as Gothic and Coptic. Simplified relationship between various scripts, showing the development of Unseal from Roman and Greek Unseal. Early Unseal script most likely developed from late rustic capitals. Early forms are characterized by broad single-stroke letters using simple round forms taking advantage of the new parchment and vellum surfaces. As opposed to the angular, multiple-stroke letters, which are more suited for rougher surfaces, such as papyrus. In the oldest examples of Unseal, such as the fragment of De Bellis Macedonicus in the British Library, of the late 1st early 2nd century, all of the letters are disconnected from one another, and word separation is typically not used. Word separation, however, is characteristic of later Unseal usage. As the script evolved over the centuries, the characters became more complex. Specifically, around AD 600, flourishes and exaggerations of the basic strokes began to appear in more manuscripts. Ascenders and descenders were the first major alterations, followed by twists of the tool in the basic stroke and overlapping. By the time the more compact minuscule scripts arose circa AD 800, some of the evolved Unseal styles formed the basis for these simplified, smaller scripts. Unseal was still used, particularly for copies of the Bible, tapering off until around the 10th century. There are over 500 surviving copies of Unseal script, by far the largest number prior to the Carolingian Renaissance. A sample of the Latin text from the Codex Bezi, 6th century AD in general, there are some common features of Unseal script, in later Unseal scripts, the letters are sometimes drawn haphazardly. For example, LL runs together at the baseline, bows do not entirely curve in to touch their stems, and the script is generally not written as cleanly as previously. Due to its extremely widespread use, in Byzantine, African, Italian, French, Spanish, and insular centers, there were many slightly different styles in use, calligraphic writing of the word unzeal in a modern unseal hand there is some doubt about the original meaning of the word. Unseal itself probably comes from street. Jerome's preface to the Book of Job, where it is found in the form Uncialibus, but it is possible that this is a misreading of Initialibus. And Jerome may have been referring to the larger initial letters found at the beginning of paragraphs. In classical Latin Uncialis could mean both inch high and weighing an ounce, and it is possible that Jerome was punning on this, he may conceivably also have been playing with the other meaning of codex, block of wood. The term Uncial in the sense of describing this script was first used by Jean Mabillon in the early 18th century. Thereafter his definition was refined by Scipion A. Maffei, who used it to refer to this script as distinct from Roman square capitals. A portion of the Codex Sinaiticus, in Byzantine Unseal, containing Esther 2 3-8. The word, Unseal, is also sometimes used to refer to manuscripts that have been scribed in Unseal, especially when differentiating from those penned with minuscule. Some of the most noteworthy Greek Uncials are, the Petropolitanus is considered by some to contain Optimum Unseal style. It is also an example of how large the characters were getting. For further details on these manuscripts, see Guglielmo Cavallo Ricerche Solomaeus Gola Biblica. Modern calligraphy usually teaches a form of evolved Latin based unseal hand that would probably be best compared to the later 7th to 10th century examples, though admittedly, the variations in Latin unseal are much wider and less rigid than Greek. Modern unseal has borrowed heavily from some of the conventions found in more cursive scripts, using flourishes variable width strokes, and on occasion, even center axis tilt. In a way comparable to the continued widespread use of the black letter typefaces for written German until well into the 20th century. Gaelic letter forms, which are similar to Unseal letter forms, were conventionally used for typography in Irish until the 1950s. The script is still widely used in this way for titles of documents, inscriptions on monuments, and other official uses. Strictly speaking, the Gaelic script is insular, not Unseal. Unseal Greek is commonly used by the Greek Orthodox Church and various institutions and individuals in Greece to this day. The modern Greek state has also used Unseal script on several occasions in official capacity as did many of the Greek provisional governments during the Greek War of Independence. The height of Unseal usage by the modern Greek state was during the Greek military junta of 1967-74, when even Greek drachma coins had Unseal lettering on them. Since the Metapolipsy, the Greek state has stopped using Unseal script. 
an exemplary early 6th century semi-uncial, Codex Basilicanus S. Petri D. 182 a 3rd century script that can either be considered a rustic predecessor of semi-uncial or the earliest semi-uncial, Papyrus Oxyrhynchus 668 the term half-uncial or semi-uncial was first deployed by Scipione Maffei. Historia Diplomatica, he used it to distinguish what seemed like a cut-down version of uncial in the famous Codex Basilicanus of Hillary, which contained sections in each of the two types of script. The terminology was continued in the mid-18th century by René Prosper Tassin and Charles François Taustain. Despite the common and well-fixed usage, half-unseal is a poor name to the extent that it suggests some organic debt to regular unseal, though both types share features inherited from their ancient source, Capitalis Rustica. It was first used around the 3rd century and remained in use until the end of the 8th century. The early forms of half-unseal were used for pagan authors and Roman legal writing, while in the 6th century the script came to be used in Africa and Europe to transcribe Christian texts. Some general forms of half-unseal letters are, half-unseal was brought to Ireland in the 5th century, and from there to England in the 7th century. In England, it was used to create the Old English Latin alphabet in the 8th century. Thanks for watching.